Hello everyone, welcome to The Social Doctor and this is Dr. Ayushi. The Social Doctor is a platform for the doctors by the doctors, where we are on a mission to help each and every doctor with his or her career growth. And we do that by discussing journeys, experiences and knowledge from successful medical practitioners. And today we have Dr. Ranajit Kar with us. He, with his more than 21 years of experience in the field of radiation oncology, is here to discuss about this branch. Why did he pick up this branch? What are the coming, what are the coming advances and the future in this branch? And why should you pick up this branch? So welcome, Doctor, to the platform. It's really nice to have you here to discuss such a nice topic. Um, good evening, everybody. Myself, Dr. Ranjit. And uh, I am native of proper Baleswar, Orissa. So, a uh, little bit, a little introduction about me. I I have done my MBBS from MKC Medical College, Orampur. Then done my MD from AHRCC, Acharya Harya Regional Cancer Center, Katak, plus SC Medical College, Katak. Then went to BSS Medical College, Bulla for post PG training. Then went for a senior residentship training to Nijan Center of Medical Science, Hyderabad. I stayed almost one year there. Then went to Tata Memorial Hospital, Mumbai. The Makkah of cancer. Correct. Because we know TMS Mumbai is the big, biggest cancer hospital in Asia where all the oncologists, like surgical oncologists, medical oncologists, gynecologists, oncologists, radiation oncologists, all are trained in trained in Tata Mano Hospital Mumbai. Yes. I, I stayed almost four years, five months there, three years in the Department of Radiation and Oncology, three months in three years in the Department of Radiation and Oncology, three months in Neuro Oncology Fellow, and one year in medical oncology. Home sweet home. I am native of proper Odisha. I stately came back to Odisha. I joined in HCG Ponda Cancer Hospital in 18 June 2011. Oh. And now presently I am working as the head of the department and a senior consultant in the Department of Radiation Oncology in HCG Ponda Cancer Hospital. Oh, very so, nice to know, sir. Yeah. Yes. yes. So and, uh, yes. yes. Tell me. Yes, yes. So, you know, really nice to know about your journey. So why we really wanted to ask, why did you pick up this branch? What was the reason for you to pick up this branch? You know, why did you, what, what pursued you to do that? When uh, I joined in uh, Department of Radiation and Oncology, in, uh, when I, I attended the counseling, at that time, I, I got, um, I, I'm getting surgery, ENT and pulmonology and uh, in radiation and oncology. Okay. So, uh, I joined in a different way. I joined because we have two, two members in our family who died in breast cancer. One by my grandmother and uh, one my uncle in tear stomach, cancer stomach. So that's a that's a purely torturous feeling when I saw that uh, when I, during my MBBS and uh, MBBS era. So I I joined uh, a Department of Radiation Oncology in my own view. At mm -hmm. that time, I am getting surgery, ENT, pulmonology, all these uh, uh, paraclinical non cancer subjects. So I stately joined the Department of Radiation Oncology to, to, to do these oncology practices and to, to get knowledge for this oncology. oncology. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice to know. You know, I'd be completely agree with that. So now, when you are in this branch, how has it advanced till now since 2011? How are the how how is it changing, and what are the recent advances coming up? It, is, it, it has been changed like anything. When I joined in in my postgraduate era, we are working in Kobalt. Kobalt is a mission. So radiation oncology, to my viewers, I am telling it's a high dose, I mean, high dose extreme. Beam, what what we are doing treat the patient for cancer. So cancer treatment is a multi-modality approach. Surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, immunotherapy, hormonal therapy, biological therapy. So radiation therapy is an integral part of cancer treatment. More than two-thirds of the patient require radiation therapy in their in their in cancer cancer treatment. So starting from curative treatment, radical treatment, post-operative treatment, palliative setting, we require radiation therapy. So each and every setting we require radiation like radical, curative intention, larynx, oropharynx, nasopharynx, rectum, all these settings we are requiring radical radiation therapy. Postal yeah. setting, in case of a head and a cancer, in case of a rectal cancer, in case of a gallbladder, in case of a stomach cancer, McDonald's protocol, in case of a brain tumor, we require postoperative radiation therapy. Palliative yeah. setting, to decrease the bone pain, to decrease the bleeding, to decrease the intractable pathological fracture, yeah. to decrease the hemoptysis. Uh, bleeding from the cup, we require palliative radiation therapy. So mm -hmm. radiation is given Monday to Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, five days per week, 
five to seven months treatment, and it is painless. So mm. the era has been changed like anything. Like we are in the era of TD conformal radiation therapy, intensity modulation radiation therapy, image guided radiation therapy, stereotactic radio surgery, stereotactic radio therapy, stereotactic body frame radiation therapy, volumetric arc radiation therapy, proton therapy. So these are these are newer techniques of radiation therapy where the main objective, the main aim is to give higher dose to the tumor, the tumor mass, and to decrease the, uh, the side effect, like dryness of mouth, the vomiting, the nausea, the skin reaction, the gerostomy, and all these things, the side effects of radiation, to decrease the side effect, what treatment we are going to give is that the high precision radiation therapy. So mm. this science, the technology has been changed like anything. Okay. Okay. Yes. Nice to know about this. And how how does the future do you see coming up with this? The future is the future is increasing day by day. Radiation oncology, radiation therapy. And now it has been like brands like adenic oncology, like mm -hmm. breast oncology, breast radiation oncology, the mm -hmm. soft tissue sarcoma, the lymphoma, the hematolymphoid, the CNS malignancy, the soft mm -hmm. tissue sarcoma, the thoracic malignancy. The gynec malignancy, the genitourinary malignancy. So each and every aspect it has been changed. Correct. Correct. That's that's so true. We are following personal radiation therapy. So so the science has been changed like anything. And it, it is it is all because of higher techniques, higher machine, higher equipment, and uh, at the, uh, we are respecting the tumor mass and we are avoiding the normal structure. Correct. Correct. That's so true. So now, you know, if as there are so many recent advances coming and and things coming if if a student picks up radiation therapy and you know passes out what are the kind of job opportunities the student can look forward to in radiation oncology so after passing from radiation oncology md he he, he should not join immediately in a job that is my solo advice to my young young junior doctor even mm -hmm. an upcoming doctor they should go to the higher course Senior as visit, like that when I was in Mumbai, ACPJ Lucknow, PJ Chandigarh, Medanta, then uh, what I mean to say, RGCI. So they have to do the senior residentship or some DMB type of course. They have to take the fellowship. They, they should be expertise in radiation practices, the contouring, the drawing aspect, the radiology parts, the, the physics parts. They should expertise. Then they should join in a, uh, they should join in a career. Like, like they have lots of opportunities. They should be when I categorize like they have whether they have to join in a government setup, whether they have to go in a corporate or private setup, or whether they have to join in a medical college and they have to go with a assistant professor, associate professor, additional professor, or professor like things. Mm -hmm. So in government setup, they can join, but they, at that time they have to they have to do three years of senior residency. That is mandatory from a government institute. Mm -hmm. They have to do in corporate setup. Again, they have to do if they 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 uh, after post MD or post DNB, if they have done senior residency from a premier institute like Tata uh, Institute Mumbai or SGPJ or uh, RGC or PJ Chandigarh or AIMS, they can join in a corporate setup. But from beginning, they have to start their voice or beginning they have to start their journey, and they should not worry because uh, they will pick up. So labor never goes on rewarded. They have to they have to struggle. They have to. They, they, they have to work hard. They can join like they can produce like anything because it's a very good branch. They, they they will enjoy like anything. They will enjoy their work. They will enjoy with their pockets and they will. Uh, uh, it is it is it is a producible branch. What I mean to say. <laughs> yeah. Very very nice to know. So as you mentioned about you know the the government and the private setup both ways but when it comes to settling down in their own setup is there an option with a radio with with radiation yes or yes they can they can arrange their own setup but again they have to see yeah after doing five to seven years of uh, seven, seven years of job in a government or a corporate setup they can they can have their own setup they can have their own center they can have their own cancer center they have to install a machine they have to do a surgical unit. They have to they have put a chemotherapy ward. They have to do a good clinical practice, a clinical oncology practice. Like it has been divided into solo radiation oncologists, clinical oncologists. So clinical oncologists they can do radiation practices with weekly chemotherapy, weekly like cisplatin, weekly carboplatin. They can do some concurrent chemotherapy. 
they can do some palliative chemotherapy they can they can have their own 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 setup they can do they can do radiation practices they can have a weekly weekly chemotherapy protocol weekly uh, concurrent chemotherapy protocol so after doing 5 to 7 years of journey after doing 5 to 7 years of radiation practices they can have their own center they can put a proving lineage accelerator or they can have a electa machine electa versa sd machine they can put a setup and they can go ahead with their own setup hmm 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 okay okay nice to know that sir so now when you mention about you know working in government private as well as setting up their own private practice are these kinds of practices viable in tier 2 tier 3 towns as well you know if yes, somebody wants yes, yes. okay yes if somebody uh, somebody from mumbai is a basic uh, of mumbai is a uh, brown and potter from mumbai he has done his md he has done his dmb he has done his src from a uh, bigger institute Thank he you. wants to join as a consultant in uh, what i mean to say wasi or borivali uh, in mumbai he can join he can join in one center as a associate consultant or junior consultant they clinical we will promote it after 3 years to consultant then again after 5 years he can he or she can be promoted to senior consultant they can have their own uh, no what what I, what i mean to say it's a team work like surgical oncologists medical oncologists radiation oncologists they will have a team they can they can face patient and they can go with uh, with their uh, practices that's that's perfectly correct yes, so yes. because it is a team work yes. is it possible for people to actually settle down in small places like you know like kanpur or you know yes yes, yes they can settle like shrikanganagar you know small very small places yes yes again i am telling we have i am i am i am presently working in scg panda cancer hospital correct so we have scg almost 34 center across the county and uh, like vijayawada nasik then uh, bori uh, then borivali then uh, this uh, calcutta then katak we have three centers and we are presently in odisha in scg we have three centers, three centers. scg panda cancer hospital scg dekya and one is going to aragyam scg panda cancer hospital okay. so in small setup small town they can have their own setup. they can join in the in the setup they can uh, go with the radiation practices hmm <laughs> okay okay it can be possible what i mean to say it can be possible hmm <laughs> yes. okay nice to know about that also sir so now if somebody wants to you know move internationally what uh, what is the kind of scope of uh, you know of radiation oncology internationally and how does it go yes they can join they can join but they have to do a two years travel can fellowship suppose we have some extra fellowship aspo fellowship like american society of clinical oncology or american society of therapeutic radiation oncology radiology and oncology hmm. so they have to or they can join in royal march team they can join in princess market hospital they can join in md anderson they have to uh, do a two years fellowship then they can join some unit like adenic unit or breast unit like soft tissue sarcoma unit they can join as a associate consultant they can go to the clinical consultant then they they can go to the single consultant if they want to continue in md anderson or or, or uh, uh, mayo clinic or uh, princess market hospital they can go ahead no issue but if they will hardcore they will they can come to odisha or they can come to india their own 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 country they can join in their respective places or nearby so we have we have uh, we have uh, we have facilities for international level so we can go us we can go uk some of my friends one my contemporary they join in uh, us so we have a facilities okay 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 that's that's again a nice to know about the scope internationally so as you mentioned that people should after md should do some courses whether it's dnb or anything are there some kind of these courses internationally also you know as you mentioned about fellowships also and yes any you know if you can mention some on those that can that can actually excel them and become a better better practitioner yes some physical fellowship is there like breast fellowship is there adenic fellowship is there uicc the international union of cancer congress uicc fellowship is there so they can join we have in eroi association of association of radiation oncologists of india we have mm-hmm. some neil and joseph fellowship travel and fellowship so dr pon fellowship so they can join they, if they are getting the fellowship to this association of radiation oncology this uh, facilities they can join in 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 uh, abroad for this fellowship grant and they can go with two years or three years of fellowship there correct 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 
Okay. Okay. As you mentioned about US, are there some other countries also that that helps? You know, that are good for. Uh, that is. Uh, yes, US is there, UK is there, France is there, and Singapore is there. Okay. Four to five countries. Uh, I mean, Vienna is there, Austria is there. Okay. Okay. Okay, nice to know about all of this as well, sir. So now, when you mention about you know all of about the settling internationally and in India, what is the kind of pay scale a fresher can expect after you know after just passing out if he wants to settle down in a government or a private? Yes, basically, when I joined in two thousand eleven, I when I left. This is a purely what I mean to say. Uh, uh, you ask this question, so I'm telling. So when I joined, uh, I came back to uh, came back from TMS to Odisha. I joined in SCG Punakan Hospital. So at that time the scale was some seventy thousand to one lakh. But now in Fraser, when the Fraser in two thousand twenty one or two thousand twenty two, they they passed from the they uh, crossed their three years uh, senior citizenship from begin shoot and they will join in high corporate or corporate or semi corporate. They can expect at least one point eight to two point five or three lakhs. In the age of pressure setting. Okay, nice. That's yes. that's as a full time. As a yes. full time. Yes, yes, definitely. Yes, that's nice to yes. know. So, what is it that you will, you know, that that you think are the pro, are the good points, as well as some of the challenges with the branch that you want to mention to the graduates before they pick up this branch. So they have to be fully educated. They have to be fully educated. Of radiological knowledge, the radiation oncology clinical planning, and radiation oncology, the radiation physics, and they should be high customized with, with the, the new techniques like CDCRT, IMRT, IGRT, radiology, body frame radiation therapy, SRS, SRT, volumetric arc therapy. They should be they should be high qualified. They should be high custom custom with the with this uh, this this type of high precision radiation therapy for at least two to three years. They should know. Number one. Number two. There should be team practice. They have High peer senior, high peer junior in their uh, respective field. So they should uh, bring a, uh, they should uh, they should create a, a team like surgical oncologist, medical oncologist, radiation oncologist, the oncopathologist, the trained biomedical expert. They should have a team. It's a purely team work. Mm -hmm. Number two, number three, they they should not depend on the hospitals. They should they should have their own 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 marketing strategy. They should their own. So, Doctor Sifral is not important. Again, I am telling to my press junior, Doctor Sifral is not important. They should, they should do that much quality of work. They should patient base referral should be increased like anything. Okay. If they, if they cure one patient, the patient will create the patient will face ten more new patient. Again, I am telling. So, as a oncologist, we should work that much hard so that if the patient will be died because. I am not telling. I am a. I am a god. I, I. I will cure each and every patient. So we have some stage. Stage one curable. Stage two ten to twelve years. Stage three high pure survival is twenty five percent. Stage four with the era of biological therapy, immunotherapy, the stage four disease in the median survival is three and half years like thing. So they should do that much of good works. So the patient base referral will be increased like anything. Patient base referral. So patient will send new patient. Patient will send new patient. So mm -hmm. that is my take home message. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Nice to know. And what are the kind of challenges that you feel in the branch? Whether it's lifestyle or anything that you are being facing every day. So because I am a I am a actually I am a TMS guy. I I I was in pretty good time in Tamil Nadu from Mumbai. So we have a TMS uh, work style pattern. So Monday to Saturday, Monday to Sunday, we have we are busy like anything. So uh, when you will will do a very hard work, you will you will produce like anything. This is my this is not my pride. I am not I am I am I am not doing any proud. What I am I am observing in your clinical practice when you have seen a patient in your own heart, you have to think each and every patient with your own heart. You will like you will uh, produce like anything. So there will be no obstacle. Sometimes there will be some obstacle, but you will produce like anything. It's a hard work, speed, accuracy, perfection, and hard work. This is the main aim. This is the main endeavor for a clinical oncologist to produce like anything. So this is the main. Thing. So challenges, challenges like uh, radiation treatment, uh, interruption, 
sometimes the machine breakdown sometimes the chemotherapy part so lots of challenges from the hospital so uh, again i am telling you have to do a very hard work so each and every aspect like ent like medicine surgery gynecology the psychiatry so each and every, each and every subject is important so in your subject you have to do very uh, hard work you will progress like anything that's that's so true and so correctly said sir hard work is there is no no key to hard work that is yeah. that you have to do so very very nice to know about everything about radiation oncology and as well as if somebody wants to pursue what is the path they want to choose wanted to you know let's end this on a high note on understanding any motivational quote that keeps you motivated always and uh, that has helped you throughout your journey and is still being with you something that motivates other students as well again i am telling don't be harassed don't be panic so again i am telling you have to do very hard work in each and every aspect chota sa kaam bhi ho aapko lagan ke sath karna hai mehnat ke sath karna hai khud ka perseverance ko permanent pursue karna hai koi bhi kaam chota nahi hota hai each and every patient is important for us agar ek patient with a stage 4 disease agar wo happy new year bol sakta hai happy uh, happy express bol sakta hai apna family ke sath itna extra din wo bach sakta hai usse zyada khush khabar एक ऑंकोलॉजिस्ट के लिए क्या हो सकता है नंबर वन नंबर टू मैं जूनियर लोग को बोलूंगा कि डोंट बी पेनिक एमबीबीएस के बाद जो भी पीजी सब्जेक्ट हम लेते हैं तो आपको ऐसा नहीं है कि पीजी नहीं करने से हमको मतलब हम पीछे ले जाएंगे तो पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन वी हैव टू ज्वाइन पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन दे कैन देव देयर ओन वर्क दे कैन हैव देयर ओन स्टडी एंड कैन हैव टू ज्वाइन इन रेडिएशन ऑंकोलॉजी तो इन रेडिएशन ऑंकोलॉजी they will be flourish like anything they have the they have the strategy to do very good work yeah. under team work and they should do high precision radiation therapy in uh, and uh, clinical practice in uh, radiation oncology mm. so they have not to be worried about uh, the challenges they should go away to go ahead and they will uh, they will bring cases like anything because if if, if you are you are uh, curing any patient mm. if, if you are giving your 100% 100% effort to cure the patient you will enjoy like anything you will flourish like anything this is my take home that's that's so true sir and i believe that every doctor will relate to you know treating yes. patient needs to be your passion yes thank you so much sir for mentioning so, such detail so, so before, before before leaving giving a small example yesterday when i i left from hospital one of my patient he is he is taken 18 fraction of radiation therapy for laryngeal cancer vocal cord cancer he could not able to deglutinate he could not able to solid food i mean take the solid food or he could not able to take liquid food so i i asked my gdm doctor to put a rice cube because uh, my gdm doctor cannot put the rice cube so rice cube insertion is very important and this covid era when we are putting a rice cube we need a uh, rt pcr test to, uh, to send the patient to ot and our anesthetist will put uh, the rice cube then they have, we have to Uh, admit the patient and for two days admission they require some 10000 15000 like charges so this is a pure pure uh, right thing so uh, at that time at the time of 6 pm i i rushed to the emergency i i, I uh, asked the patient let me try i am trying with my level best to put the rice to when i started uh, putting the rice to and the rice to insertion done so the patient is happy her his wife is happy and his son is happy so this is the pure happiest moment for a doctor you have to put your 100% effort this is very important that's so true and and yes. i'm sure you know the things like this definitely add to your days as well yes. because this is this is giving 100% is is definitely very important thank you so much sir for actually bringing out all this motivational quote to actually keep everybody motivated and also to explain us about the branch of radiotherapy which is so important and such a new upcoming branch these days thank you so much everyone for joining us i'm sure it would have been an insightful session understanding about radiation oncology something which is which is advancing to the next level and is bringing up lots of new opportunities for everybody around do share it with your friends and colleagues i'm sure it will be helpful for them to understand before picking up this branch what are the kind of opportunities and advances that are happening in this branch 
also do follow us on our instagram and youtube channels to look forward for all the other videos that can also help you with your career growth thank you so much sir for joining thank us you. and guiding us in, in such a right way thank, thank you so thank much you. Yeah. Thank, thank you everyone good night everyone good night sir good night